when we chew the food it gets mixed with saliva which we commonly call the spit the saliva contains the enzyme which helps in breaking down starch from the mouth the food travels through the long pipe like esophagus and reaches the stomach the stomach is a thick walled bag the inner walls also secrete digestive juice which help in the digestion the partially digested food from the stomach moves into the small intestine then the digestive juices in the small intestine starts to break down the food the liver secretes a chemical called bile juice which helps in the digestion the liver is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side the bile juice secreted by it is stored in a sac called the gall bladder the juice is then released into the small intestine the pancreas is a large cream colored gland located just below the stomach the bile juice and the pancreatic juice reach the intestine through the small pipe like path the digestion gets completed inside the small intestine the nutrient gets absorbed by the small intestine walls which are full of blood vessels the inner wall of the small intestine has small finger like projections called villi each villus has many blood vessels so the villi absorb the liquid digested food and the food enters the blood vessels in the villi after the absorption of digested food the undigested food moves into the large intestine the large intestine absorbs the water from it after the absorption of water the undigested food becomes semi solid and gets stored in a sac like part at the end of the large intestine which is called rectum This undigested semi-liquid food is called the feces or the stool. The fecal matter is removed through the anus from time to time. <coughs> the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine large intestine along with the rectum and the anus form the digestive tract so the digestive tract and the associated glands the liver and the pancreas together constitute the digestive system